This will be for the con exercise, graph quadratics and standard form. So standard form for a quadratic equation, it's going to be y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, a is the coefficient with x squared, b is the coefficient with x, and c is the constant term with no variable. So a parabola is basically shaped like, uh, like a combination of a u and a v. And you can tell if it opens up or down from the equation when it's in this form. If you look at a, the coefficient that's times x squared, if A is positive, the parabola is going to open up, and the lowest point is called the vertex. And if A is negative, the parabola is going to open down, and the highest point is the vertex. So you can kind of tell the direction of the parabola from this number right here, whatever A equals. So they want us to graph this equation. Okay, like I said, it's in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And we can clearly see that a equals two-thirds. And what we said when a is positive, that means it opens up. Now, in order, so in order to find the vertex, and we use h comma k for the vertex. These are the x and y coordinates of the vertex. The formula for the x coordinate is going to be negative b divided by 2 times a. All right. We can see that b equals 4. So negative b is just going to be negative 4. And that's divided by 2 times a, which is 2 thirds. So 2 times 2 thirds. All right. And let's see, we have negative 4. And 2 times 2 thirds, 2 times 2 is 4. And that's divided by 3. Okay, and when you divide fractions, uh, just use keep, change, flip. Okay, so we keep the negative 4 in the numerator. We change division to multiplication, and we flip the denominator. So 4 over 3 becomes 3 over 4. Okay, and if you want to make this negative 4 over 1, you certainly can. Okay, and you can see since these fractions are multiplied, we can cancel 4 over 4. And that's just negative 1 times 3, which is negative 3. Okay, so h, the x-coordinate, is going to be negative 3. And for the y-coordinate, k, you just take the negative 3 and plug it in. All right, so we're going to plug in x equals negative 3, wherever we see an x. So the y-coordinate k is going to equal 2 thirds times x squared, so that's going to be negative 3 squared, plus 4 times x, so it's going to be 4 times negative 3, plus 4. All right, I'm going to need some more room here. So let's see. k equals 2 thirds. Negative 3 squared is positive 9, so this is going to be times 9. And plus 4 times negative 3, that's going to be negative 12 plus 4. Okay, 2 thirds times 9, the 3 and the 9, 
cancel nine divided by three is just three and two times three is six minus 12 plus four and six minus 12 is negative six plus four is negative two so that is k the y coordinate of the vertex okay so the first thing I'm going to do is plot this vertex point, negative 3, comma, negative 2. Let's go to the graph. All right, so for the vertex, x was negative 3, and y was negative 2. Okay, so that's the vertex point. And for the y-intercept, you want to plug in x equals 0. All right, the reason that is... Because the y-axis, the line equation for the y-axis, if we were to draw a line on the y-axis, all right, the entire y-axis, the equation for that line would just be x equals zero. All right, so in order to find out where the graph intercepts or crosses the y-axis, we have to plug in x equals zero. So just go to the original equation, and wherever you see an x, you want to plug in 0. Okay, so y is going to be 2 thirds times 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 4. Okay, 0 squared is just 0, and anything times 0 is 0, so this whole thing is gone. 4 times 0 is 0, and we just have y equals 4. All right, so at x equals 0, y equals 4. And that's your y-intercept. Okay, many of you can do it in your head because, like I said, anything times 0 is 0. So if you just plug in the zeros for x, you'll get y equals some number. So 0, 4 is the other point. So we did the vertex already. Okay, just grab the other point, go to x equals zero and y equals four. And now you have your parabola. Okay, we don't have to do the point on the other side because Khan Academy makes it symmetrical automatically. So it's the same on both sides. All right, for all of these, they want us to graph the equation. So they're all in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And we can clearly see that a equals negative 3 halves. All right, since a is negative, the parabola opens down. So first we want to find our vertex, h comma k. We know the formula for h is just negative b over 2a. Okay, and we can see that b is negative 6, but we want negative b. So I keep that negative sign, and for b I'm going to write negative 6. All right, so it's two negatives, and that's divided by two times a, so that's going to be two times negative three halves. All right, in the numerator, two negatives in a row make it positive, so that's positive six. And in the denominator, two divided by two cancels, and we're left with negative three. And finally, 6 divided by negative 3 is just negative 2. So, so far, we have h. That's just negative 2. All right, and then we want to take that negative 2 and plug it in. All right, so wherever we see an x, we want to plug in negative 2. So we're looking to find k at this point. 
And we're just plugging in negative two, so we start with negative three halves. And it's x squared, so that's negative two squared. Minus six times negative two. All right, we have negative three halves. Negative two squared is positive four. And negative six times negative two is positive 12. All right, four divided by two is just two. And negative three times two is negative six plus 12. And negative six plus 12 is positive six. So that is K, the Y coordinate of the vertex. All right, so the first point we're gonna plot is the vertex, negative two, six. Since the parabola opens down, this point should be the highest point. So going to the graph, we have negative two and positive six. Now for the y-intercept, you wanna plug in x equals zero. Okay, so wherever you see an x, just put a zero. And really this part, many of you can do this in your head. All right, so that's gonna be negative three halves. X squared is gonna be zero squared, so that's times zero squared and minus six times zero. Zero squared is just zero, so that's gone. And negative six times zero is also zero. So y equals zero at x equals zero. So the y-intercept is just zero comma zero. So that's our other point. So we did the vertex already, you grab the other point and just bring it to zero, zero. Okay, and we said at the beginning, A is negative, so the parabola opens down. So that's correct, that should be correct. All right, so if I were to sum it up in three basic steps, first you wanna determine if the parabola opens up or down. Okay, if it opens up, that means A is positive. If it opens down, B is negative. Step two is to find the vertex. You use negative B over 2A for the X coordinate. Plug it in to get the Y coordinate. And then finally, step three, finding the Y intercept, you just plug in X equals zero, and that is your other point where it crosses the Y axis.